There's a number of different ways that you can create forms for your database. Um, depending on whether you want to make something like a main menu or whether you actually want to have a data entry form. Uh, we're going to look at a data entry form first. So I'm going to click on the Create tab over here. And under Create, I'm going to look for the one that says Form Design. Now, like I said, there's different ways you can do it, but this is the way I'd like you to have a go. So we click on Form Design. It opens up for us a blank form. What we need to be able to do now is we need to be able to put some fields into that form. So if we come up to here and click on this Add Existing Fields box, there's the table that we've got in there. We've only got one at the moment. It's called Videos. I'm going to click on the plus to open up and show me all the things that are in there. So these are all the fields that are available in my table. Now, I don't need to use all of them necessarily. In fact, I'm not going to use the ID number because that, that's not anything that's useful for us when we just look at the, each record. I obviously want to know what the film's called, so I can drag that one out. I can drag out the year it was created, the director, and so on. Um, if I don't want to drag them, I think I can double click on them. That will put them there as well. You can see that one popped up there. So even, even with this um, particular thing, there's different ways of doing it. Um, lead actress I'll drag out and rating and I'll, I'll maybe I'll bring storyline as well now at the moment they're just randomly um, positioned on the screen there's no color to them that they need a lot of editing to make them look useful but if I switch now from um, the design view back into the normal view you can at least see what it looks like so here you can see it's starting to put the, the real data in there and down the bottom it's telling me that I'm on record number one out of 51 and if I click through they move through my fields but what I need to do is I need to tidy it all up and make it look more attractive. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into the design view. And when I'm in design view here, first of all, if I right click on the background, I've got a fill back color. And I can choose if I want to make it perhaps a, give it a blue background or something, purple background. Let's have a look at that one. There's a background color for me. At the moment, the, the words for the, the title of each um, rec uh, field is in blue. If I wanted to make that a different color, I can either um, hold down shift and click on a number of them in one go. And then what I can do is if I go back into my home tab, I can change the font and the color and so on. So if I want to change my font color, maybe I'll make them black so they stand out a little bit more. And possibly I might even want to put the, the boxes that they're in to be a color as well. So let's try orange and see what that looks like. Okay, I could do the same with the actual... Um, information in the in the fields themselves I could change the font size or the font name and whatever I'm not going to for the moment the other thing I want to show you is how you can arrange these things so if I come up here now and I click onto my arrange tab um, I've got the option if I click on something to do various things to it so I'm going to choose by selecting all of these holding down shift and clicking and perhaps I want to get them to all line up in one way I can go to the align and say align left and it will align them up to whichever one is the furthest left so watch what happens okay now I can do the same thing with any of these other ones if I shift click on them um, I can decide to line them all up in one go and and so on just to tidy things up I can do things like change the, the sort of space in between them there's lots of options here so if I want to make it really look good on the screen I can the other thing I might want to do is I might want to put a label on somewhere so if I go into my um, design view, here I've got various options. This one here is label. If I click on label, I could click up here somewhere and I could just type in. So if this was going to be my um, my main films page or something like that, I could just type in the name of that. And in the same way, I could um, change the, the font that's being used and so on, make it bigger and, and position it and, and whatever I want to do with it to make it look more tidy. Go into the home view again, maybe make that a lot bigger so it shows up. Um, and it's entirely up to me how, I, how I, I lay all that out. So what you need to do now is you need to make yourself your form for your videos. 